I think what's interesting about the fix today is that the ceiling is actually at seven. So uh, we have a forecast of seven by the third quarter, but that's very much on the expectation uh, that in case you know, the trade talks um, in this uh, next month at the G20 summit fall through again. Um, but that said, I think uh, in the short term, the market has already brought dollar China back to where it fell from, you know, in anticipation of a deal that could roll back tariffs. So, uh, but realistically, going into the G20 summit, no one is expecting, you know, um, that uh, any deal that comes out of it would roll back the tariff. You know, but I think at this juncture, the market is just hoping that it would stay the US hand in terms of the uh, threat of the 25% on the $325 billion that's left. Okay. <coughs> Aussie dollar has been a big casualty this week of this increase in trade tensions. We've had some local data out as well. The wage price index coming out today, printing on the weaker side of expectations as well, half a percent quarter on quarter. But we've got Aussie now sitting right around uh, 69.30, mm -hmm. low 69 cent level, 69.28. Is it uh, really a one-way direction for Aussie dollar continuing to go south whilst we see this uncertainty around China? Well, the Aussie has been always under pressure ever since the Fed Funds rate rose above the cash rate target. So, um, I, if you look at the last cycle that uh, had such a similar pattern, that was right after the Asian crisis. So, uh, I would say that if uh, the global outlook deteriorates from here, because most central banks have been looking for a second half recovery in anticipation of some kind of deal. Um, so. A uh, global recession, I think, um, is still a risk that could push Aussie lower. The low for the, I think, global financial crisis was around 60 cents. Hey, everybody. It's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now, to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.